Hello, hello. And this week's episode of Project Sullivan, we plan on surprising Gogo by getting his race car to Tier C for the Trunk or Treat. And we'll also have some Trunk or Treat. But first, let's get into a little bit of backstory. We got this car three months ago, and it has not made it to town yet. It's been parked at Orleans. And this is us going to pick it up in July. Welcome to this week's episode of Project Sullivan. I'm Gogo. And I'm Gilbert. And I'm bored. And Grandpa's right there. As we like to call Turn him, Foreman Grandpa. What are we doing today, Gogo? Getting a race car. We're driving all the way to the wonderful land of Deming. This quest will be perilous. And we're leaving Las Cruces now after it borrowing this truck like and trailer. So. How's it going, boss? It definitely looks like a Camaro, doesn't it? It looks more like a Camaro than the other Camaro. Straight out of the factory, no. right? My name's Sorry. Gilbert. Rob. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. Like I was telling him that we usually do a YouTube. You mind being on camera at all? Like you can still well, tell this one is a Camaro yeah. at one point. You know, it's got its rain catch here. Uh, no, I was building this to race at Vado. I just didn't know how to do it. So I just, and it was a lot of work. So I don't know. You know what they say about them tires, right? One wouldn't hold it. Five yeah. never would have. I've seen work do more. The car came out of cars. Double door bars. That's kind of nice. Like I said, that was a real big selling point for us. And I'm really hoping that that might be part of it. Just because yeah. I saw. It's just because I bought the seat for you know, this. I was going to use it in another car. Because I realized a lot of the cars don't come with seats okay and that's the whole reason why yeah i had to buy a separate seat so i could get a deal on the seat okay yeah no we'll still get it just that was one of the big selling points oh it even comes with a seat all right well let's get it we're selling Wait, just be uh, gilbert sullivan the world's going through this you can watch yourself in there hold under that bar and get another yeah. Yeah. It's about one mile. Huh? there's a hundred oh, 200 yeah. or six eight ten four six eight hold on hey somebody got 20 bucks i'm 20 what do you got on you go go i i gave all my money out oh, for no. a tip earlier i got seven no michelle's coming right now. okay It's still a dream, you know. That ain't really that heavy. Expecting it? More lower. More lower? Yeah. Check it out. We brought the controller kit in the car. You know what you could do? Just uh, put power and ground directly to here. We could try it. Time to do some sketchy stuff, dude. Over a hundred dollars. This is why you never forget your controller. Nope, that's the wrong way. <laughs> why is that giving power? Ready, go go. Hold up. Come back, come right there. Come back in with yours, Gogo. -Go. Push it in. Let it fall in that. Group. There you go. Now go back that way. More. Right there. Right where it hits. That's the safe zone. Sure. Go, go. Would he scrab that so don't hook up on me? Would he scrab that so don't hook up on me? How much you want me to start straightening it out? When he's trying to wench it, let's try to push it. See if it'll release some of that pressure. At this point, let's just try to push it up. Then you pull the cable. There's plenty of us. We're halfway up. The hard part's up. But we can't pick up and push. That's the thing. Here comes the tractor. Somebody get behind the wheel because once he comes with that tractor, it's going to go right up. I might have an extra one. Have everybody push this way. That way it doesn't go off the edge. Chill. Got it. You're good. Yeah. Now it's just a spoiler. Does it fit in here, these hooks? Those hooks fit in these angles, go one that way, one this way. You know, that winch works a lot better if I bring the controller. Well, she brought it. Do you think it's safer, Gilbert, with that hook over there like this? Have a straighter shot. See how, bring it from there and put it oh, right here. I probably should disconnect that. Instead, you know what I mean? No, you're right. I should have looked at that better. Hey, I, I'm not the one that put it there. The time comes, you know, to hang on to our numbers. You know, we're always available to, you know what I mean? Information or anything or this is plain, simple and safe. Look at Scott's first car. It wasn't perfect, but he had a blast and it lasted him a long time. Like I said, just remember beginner car. This is exactly what it is and it's perfect for it. Don't be afraid if it gets hurt. Let's check out the body. Look how straight it is, especially right here. No, I think it's all right. This is your uh, weight reduction to speed you up in the straightaways. All right. Well, it was nice meeting you. It was nice meeting you. And like we were saying, if you guys didn't... Hopefully the truck's not too loud. I think it's going to be a lot of work, but we can get it done. Um, we're missing a seat that was going to come with a seat, but we did we did knock some money off the price, so I guess the seat was the sacrifice. There is no quick steer. Gogo would like a quick steer. Uh, we know there's no seat belts, no fuel cell. No window. Oh, you're right. No window net. No engine, no transmission, no driveline, no radiator. Is it intercooler? Transmission cooler. It was running an automatic. 
But what are your thoughts so far? I'm stoked. Are you really? Yeah. So after this point, we've left it at Orly's house for three months-ish. And Gogo has been bugging us hard about bringing it back. Because he wants to get started working on it. But we haven't found a good time to do that. There's a lot we got to do. Orly donated a seat. So Uncle Scotty decided he's going to surprise Gogo for Trunk or Treat by bringing the car down. And we're going to have them both in Trunk or Treat. Almost like a, this is what you expect to see next year. As a, as a trailer for the next racing season. So let's see how that surprise goes with Gogo. Picking up Logan's car. We're going to surprise him. Show it out at the Trunk or Treat. A before and after this year. It'll be before. Next year be all ready to go. Decked out for after. We got some other cars here. Hopefully get Orly out to uh, the two day show. Right there in the blue car. So I'm here and I brought Gogo's car back from Las Cruces. I sent him text messages this morning. Before I went to work I said hey I got a buddy who's coming to pick up four tires, old race car tires that I have in my garage, and I need you to pick out the four best ones. The reason for this is because that, he's gonna walk right into his car. He doesn't know we brought it back from Las Cruces yesterday. I was trying to get him to go to Las Cruces, he didn't wanna go, he wanted to hang out with his buddies, which I understand that he's 17 years old. But, uh, there's our pontoon boat we're working on. But, we got his car right here on the trailer and he's gonna be so excited. So what I really want the tires for is, that way him and his buddies can put the tires on, maybe today and tomorrow. We wanna make this car more presentable for the trunk or treat. We know it's rough, we know it's new, we got a lot of work to do on it, but if we can put tires on it, then it's gonna start looking like a real race car to everybody else. So the idea for the trunk or treat is, is this year we're gonna have a car, Gogo's car. It's gonna be a before and after trunk or treat, actually. This year will be before, next year will be after, legit, ready to go. He, he's already gonna be done racing it for a year, but we want this timestamp of how much he's wanting to put forth work, worth effort into his lifelong goal of racing a car. My uncle and my dad came up with some money and bought him his first car. I got a lot of parts that I'm that I'm gonna donate, fuel cells, stuff like that. Uh, rims, blocks, transmissions, whatever I need. It doesn't matter. And we're gonna have this car up on up and going for next year for him to run in the pure stock race. I'll put the GoPro on the boat. That way he doesn't notice it and he'll be stoked. He's gonna be excited. So I'm hoping to catch that and he'll be like, hell yeah. It's not a goal anymore for him. Now it's a dream. It's coming true and we wanna see how far he goes with it. Stay tuned. Notice that. What the hell? Where did the GoPro come from? Surprise! I was literally texting you. Hopefully. Hell yeah, what do you think, Gogo? -Go? Now you know I wanted you to go to Cruces with me yesterday. Do you want to know why? I, I had an empty trailer. All I had to do is get that. I cleaned the backyard for my dad to surprise him. Even better. So we got what's today? Sunday. Sunday. What's Tuesday? Tuesday. Tuesday is trunk or treat. Oh boy. We're gonna do an unveiling of your brand new car in the roughest condition possible. You gotta put four tires on it. Right. That way at least it's got some race car tires on it. All right, let me get turn off the Chevy. You could use them all, it doesn't matter. Clean out the inside of it. Hear me out though. This car, I like the paint scheme, except for I don't like the yellow. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Yeah. The red, white, and blue's cool. Like blue. we, we stick to our, our paint theme for Sullivan Racing, kind of. Yeah. You put your own number on it, but we get rid of the yellow. All you gotta do is tape off these lines of the red and the blue and stuff, and you could repaint that. The white is quick and easy. If you wanna try to do that before Trunk or Treat, that's up to you. You and your buddies or whatever. I got a little extra cash, I could throw in some money for some paint. You didn't notice the car at first? No, I pulled up and just drove, and I was walking to the shop. I looked up, because I was texting you, and I looked up, and I'm like, what? There's my Camaro. So, and, and the reason why I told you to go take care of Noah's dog first is because I had it pulled forward and I had to back it out and back it back in so you didn't notice it right away. I was planning on getting in the car and having the GoPro on the car yeah. but then I heard my truck pulling up that you're driving in I was like so I set it there on the on the ground and I jumped inside. Hello Mark. Hey. You're on YouTube camera how are you doing? What are you guys filming unloading the race car? 
No, I surprised Gogo -Go with a race car. He wasn't expecting it. So, they surprised me earlier today. They brought my car home. And as you guys can tell, work's been being done. We've been low canning it all day. Uncle Scott just showed up. I had to bring him more paint. I had to be the savior of the day. <laughs> yeah. You did hit up the rims with a black, just to make them all one solid color. Like, this entire car is Bondo and barely any sheet metal. It has been a perilous journey, but we have made it to the trunk of treat. And I hope that everyone will join us. I hope to see all the peoples at the trunk or treat. Uh, we're still setting up. I'm a little late as per usual, but let's have fun with this. You're welcome. <laughs>
Catch it! You won't! Oh, you made it in! What? You made it in! It just bounced out! <laughs> I got Joffy here. He's with the Tier C City PD. He's gonna do the drawing, the raffle drawing. We're shaking it up real good. We're gonna pick uh, one winner. Oh, here he is. Here's Chief. You, you wanna draw the ticket, Chief? Go ahead, Sarge. Get okay, Joffy. We got Joffy with the Tier C Police Department gonna do our drawing. Joffy, for the winner of $58 today. That's pretty good. It'll right, help right somebody. Here. Right here. Right there. What does it read? Bruce. Bruce Stout. Bruce Stout. Bruce Stout. Bruce Stout is our winner of $58. Amazing. I'm going to call him right now, and we're going to make a phone call to Mr. Bruce, and he can either come down here or I could give awesome. it to him. Congratulations. Congratulations to Thank Bruce you. Stout. Thank you. Thank you, guys. On speaker? Yeah, you have school tomorrow. JT said he's at school tomorrow. He's a liar. So Bruce Stout won $58 tonight with our 50-50 drawing. See if he answers. He didn't answer, but we're going to leave him a voicemail, and then I'll send him a text message as well. Mr. Bruce Stout, this is Scott Sullivan with Sullivan Racing. I want to let you know that you did. You are a lucky winner tonight of our 50-50 drawing here at the TRC Trunker, and you won $58. Um, I will definitely get a hold of you and deliver your money, or you can come down here. I'm still cleaning up here. So uh, I'll, be tr I'll be sending you a text message right now. Now we're going to text him. If you watch this long, you might as well subscribe. And remember, don't wait for opportunity. Create it.